Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We are here with our friend and your Canada deputy editor, Bossop, who's here to give us all of the inside scoop on everything Hollywood. And we have a lot on the list today. Yes. Girl, let's get into this. So okay. Deb said, I'm coming for a coin. Oh, Miss Deb, my honey. Okay, so French Deb Montana's Annie. in the news. Yeah, so Deb Anthony, you know, that's Waka Flocka's mom, yes. Miss Deb. She took French Montana to court and she won. So she was on an episode <laughs> of Bossop's Headline Heat and she broke this down to us. She basically said that French went behind her back and did some business deals without her when she was representing him and so she took him to court for it and she was awarded two million dollars yeah she wants her cut she yes. needs her 10 percent run her her coins mm -hmm. okay joe budden honey and Nicki minaj of all out war yes. what is happening here so the barbs are very angry with joe budden yes. there's a lot of drama <laughs> going on so joe budden was on queen radio with Nicki minaj and basically Nicki just went in on him she said you've been lying on me you told people that i did drugs you said mm -hmm. i lied about mot motorsport and cardi b being on it mm -hmm. you lied about me and Megan Thee Stallion and Joe was trying to plead his case but she eventually just cut his mic off because she didn't want to hear it. Oh she did? She did. Well he came on to her show. He did come on to her show but eventually she said I'm not going to deal with you anymore. My, hus my husband mm. Kenneth Petty is going to deal with you now. Mm. So it was just so much girl, drama. Don't take it to the streets girl. Don't, 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 take, it to the don't take it there. But, but do we think that it's a cool idea for yeah. a man to argue with a woman that's not his no, wife? No, I, I never that's like kinda, to see that. That's kind of, what do you that. think? Should, is Joe acting kind of, <laughs> how he acted quite? <laughs> I mean, I mean to, look. to perch up and argue with another woman that doesn't even belong to you, yeah. has no real so, ties with well, you. you know, Joe know. is Joe is combative, but I will say this. Nikki was a good sport about it. She actually went on his podcast last night. Uh -huh. And so that episode is out now. Okay. But so, you, know, you know, she threw a little shade, though. On the podcast. On the podcast. She threw a little shade at well, Cardi B. Now. Ooh, well, Once again. So she basically Dang. was saying that there are gatekeepers in hip hop in hip hop we're trying to keep her down. And she was like, just because I didn't sleep my way to the top and sleep with a DJ doesn't mean you can do this to me. And everybody's like, okay, now you're just being messy. Again. The DJs help you get your music out there? Do they break your music? They 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 break records, right? Oh, okay records. then. <laughs> I guess. Well here's the deal. Yes. Let's talk about Amber Rose. Yes. She's tired of walking girl. What She's happened? Tired. Okay. <laughs> I could not with you. Amber Rose. I'm serious. Amber Rose is canceling her slut walk. This would have been annual walk. her annual walk, right? This would have been the fifth year for it. However, she said, I'm not doing this. I. She basically said she dropped 20 people out of her life, 20 mm. toxic friends. Okay. And she said these people did terrible things to her. They lied to her. They stole her money. They stole her jewelry. Someone slept with her boyfriend. Mm. Someone was a drug addict. Somebody called uh, CPS on her twice. So she said, I'm not dealing with this. She's currently CPS, pregnant. Child Protective Services. Child Protective Services. Oh, Oh Lord, honey. she said trying twice to take a firstborn for no reason. So she's pregnant with her second child with mm -hmm. rapper AE, and she's like, I'm not dealing with this drama. She was like, I'm not going to do my walk anymore. She was like, I just need a break because she's trying to protect her peace. I don't understand said. that. Like, why stop the walk? if it was for the masses. Right. Just exit the 20 out of your life. Right, As right. you already have. She, she just said she's tired. I don't know if these are people who would participate in the yeah, walk, just, maybe. They can't sign up. Can't right, come. Right, she's, yeah. she's They're just not on the list. It. They didn't make it. <laughs> the VIP list is closed. Yeah, they're on chopping block. Let's move right along. Let's go. Okay, so Tyra Banks jumps out of a moving car. What is happening here? <laughs> right, doesn't that sound stop, crazy? Stop, drop, and roll, girl. Okay, so BeautyCon LA was <laughs> happening this weekend, right? Tyra Banks was obviously there because she is a beauty icon. Mm -hmm. There is this YouTube YouTuber, and she was taking pictures, doing a photo shoot. And Tyra was like, oh, she looks like she needs some help. She jumped out of the car and started taking pictures for her. So Tyra was very proud of this. She posted it on her Instagram, said, you know, Tyra taught me. And the YouTuber obviously had like the best day ever because what Honey. happens when you're minding your business? Look, let's say we're outside, we're taking selfies and mm -hmm. then pops up Tyra Banks. Like, mm -hmm. what are we gonna do? Tyra says it's nothing like a good picture, girl. All Get right. that angle. Right. I was rooting for you. <laughs> I was rooting. She was rooting for her. Yes, she was rooting for her. She was. And it worked. It worked. Yes, it did. So Portia Williams and Dennis are back in the headlines again. Yes. Let's talk a little bit about them. Is okay. everything going well? You know what? I really like Dennis McKinley. I think he's a very nice man. So okay. I'm happy to hear this. Portia and Dennis are officially back together. Mm -hmm. She broke this news herself on Dish Nation. She said they're taking it like a day at a time. Yeah. But really what happened was they were filming The Real Housewives of Atlanta in mm -hmm. Canada, they went to Caravana, mm -hmm. and Dennis actually popped up. Okay. He popped up and allegedly, 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 he reproposed to Portia. Aww. And so this is going to play out next season um, when this airs in November. So people are really excited about yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. And Portia seems so happy. I mean, we have she to remember does. she's been through so much. And right. we really thought that there was a true love there. So it's right. good to see them work on it. It is it good really to see them work is. on yeah. it. They're happy family. Got baby PJ mm -hmm. now. Like, they look great together. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Tyrese and the Rock, honey, just never stops. They're still <laughs> fussing. Oh, my gosh. And if they both. 
you know what it is? The, the, the problem is Tyrese is so shady. So Hobbs and Shaw came out. And if you can remember, Tyrese went on super long rants about this movie. He was not included. This is a Fast and Furious spinoff. So right. he said, why would you not want me in it? So instead of him, you know, they have The Rock in there. Mm -hmm. So he went on these rants and he was like, oh, well, clearly this wasn't a hit without me. He was saying that they didn't have great box office success. Oh, my. Right. What did the numbers do? You know the numbers? I don't know the exact numbers, but oh, they, were, they, were, they were decent. And The Rock actually posted them. It was like, this is how you show clowns what to do. So Ooh. he basically took some shots at him because he's still going on and on about this movie. The movie is over. They're going to do a sequel after this. Well, then and and they, they got a sequel they didn't want. You right. know, one somewhere. Exactly. Let's talk about who's really winning. Lamar Odom says he has a new girlfriend yes. and he's different this time. How yes. different is it? So Lamar Odom is dating Sabrina Parr. She is this beautiful, like, fitness trainer. Mm -hmm. And he looks so healthy and happy with her. Look at that beautiful couple mm -hmm. right there. So basically he said that things are different now because he's dating a black woman. He All said right. it. He Ooh. just came out and said it. Oh, he, what did he say, girl? He said he's dating a black woman, girl. girl. He said it's different now because she doesn't play that. People. She I holds him accountable and he's really happy. And you can just see it in his face. You can see how yeah, healthy he is he does look now. very happy. He yes. does. Well, Danny, thank you so yes. much for joining us. We always love when you bring the scoop down to us for these stories and many more like this. Go to Boss Up on all social media platforms. And of course, the conversations always continue at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. <laughs>